In this video, we're going to talk about syncing and sourcing PLC digital output modules and how they connect to field devices. As we've discussed in our other videos, the two types of PLC output modules are digital and analog. Drilling down even further, digital output modules can be solid state or dry relay. The focus of our video is on solid state output modules operating DC loads. The purpose of a PLC digital output module is to operate or control a DC voltage physical device based on field device conditions connected to an input module and decisions made by the PLC program. If you've been in the instrumentation and automation field for any length of time, you have quite likely heard the terms syncing and sourcing. Let's spend some time clearing up any misconceptions you might have about these terms. Here's a tip for you. It's all about conventional current flow. When we talk about syncing and sourcing, it's all about defining the direction of conventional current flow between two devices. Think of it this way. Current is flowing between device number one and device number two. Ask yourself, which direction is the current flowing? The current is flowing from device number one to device number two. Therefore, we say device number one is sourcing the current and device number two is sinking the current. Okay, what if the current was flowing from device number two to device number one? In this case, we say device number two is sourcing the current, and device number one is sinking the current. In every situation where you have a current flow between two devices, one of the devices will be sourcing and the other will be sinking. Okay, now that we've got that cleared up, Let's move on to real-world devices where we aren't representing current flow using a single line drawing. PLC vendors manufacture both syncing and sourcing digital output modules. Let's explore what they are and how they differ. Keep in mind what we discussed earlier. It's all about the direction of conventional current flow. Let's have a look at two devices with current flowing between them. One device is a PLC output module and the second device is a relay. Based on the connection polarity, the sinking module will have the current flowing into it from the load. Okay, let's do that again. But this time, one of our devices will be a sourcing module. Based on the connection polarity, the sourcing module will have the current flowing out of it and into the load. If you recall, earlier we said that when there are two devices with current flowing between them, one device will be sourcing and one will be syncing. In our example, the output module is the sourcing device and the relay is the syncing device. Sometimes adding confusion to already murky concepts, some vendors refer to syncing and sourcing outputs as NPN and PNP outputs. You will hear more about NPN and PNP in a later video as we dig into PLC digital input modules and discuss how input field devices are connected to them. We'll explain the reason for the different names. But first, here's something to remember about output modules. An NPN module is a syncing module. A PNP module is a sourcing module. Why are the names PNP and NPN used? Whether it's syncing or sourcing, an output module must act as a closed switch to complete the circuit. In many output modules, the actual switching is performed by bipolar junction transistors, or BJTs. In a syncing module, the transistor is an NPN. In a sourcing module, the transistor is a PNP. The current flows into a syncing module and out of a sourcing module. If a PLC output module is listed as an NPN type, you can be sure that it is a syncing type. But if a PLC module is listed as a syncing type, it may or may not be an NPN type. Many vendors use other solid state devices, such as MOSFETs, to perform the switching. For example, we have the following syncing and sourcing modules here. If you want to order these PLC modules to use in your projects, 
You can find the links in the video description. The Siemens 6 ES7322-1BF01-0A A0 is an 8-output transistor output module. You can find the link to order this PLC module in the video description as well. You can find the link to order this PLC module in the video description as well. Let's connect two of the eight outputs to loads. This output module is a sourcing module as the current flows out of the module and into the loads. If this module is incorrectly wired as a sinking module, it will not operate. You might ask, when looking at a wiring diagram, is there a quick way to identify if a module is sinking or sourcing? Here's something that might help you. Each module output used will connect directly to one terminal of a load. The other terminals of each load will be wired together. If the wired together load terminals connect to the plus terminal of the power supply, you have a sinking module. If the wired together load terminals connect to the negative terminal of the power supply, or ground, you have a sourcing module. If you want to learn more, you might want to review two of our other videos. PLC Digital Output Types, Solid State versus Relay, and PLC Hardware Explained. You can find the links to these videos in the description. Okay, let's review what we've covered in this video. There are two types of PLC Digital Output Modules, Solid State and Relay. Sinking and sourcing boil down to defining the direction of conventional current flow between two devices. A sinking module will have the current flowing into it from the load. A sourcing module will have the current flowing into the load from the module. An NPN module is a sinking module. A PNP module is a sourcing module. If the wired together load terminals connect to the plus terminal of the power supply, you have a sinking module. If the wired together load terminals connect to the negative terminal of the power supply, or ground, you have a sourcing module. Want to learn PLC programming in an easy to understand format and take your career to the next level? Head on over to realpars.com.